How you doing everybody? My name is Wayne. Welcome to Wayne's Redneck TV. If you like these shitty shows, please like and subscribe. If not, at least you had some type of fun. Anyway, I would like to talk about the Scream franchise for the moment. Uh, nothing big. I just would like to get everybody's gossip about, you know, the franchise. Um... I was 18 years old when I first seen this movie in theaters in 1996, and uh, I really enjoyed the movie, but I also thought it was a dangerous movie, too, because I was I was afraid that there was going to be a lot of people that's going to do something stupid and try to copycat this movie. It was one of those uh, thinking movies that I thought that would be bad for the public, because uh, back then there was a lot of stupid killings going on around so, but anyway, make a long story short, I enjoyed the first film. It is one of my personal favorites. Um, it it kind of, well, I know, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but the ending was clever. I would, obviously, everybody was fooled when they first watched the movie, I guess. I thought it was very clever, very smart. Obviously, the kill is fucked up towards the end of the movie, but hey, it is what it is. It, and the original Scream movie, to me, was a masterpiece, just like the original Saw movie. That's what it kind of reminds me of, too, a little bit, but not really, but in a smart way. But other than that, the Scream franchise, uh, I thought the, it was the first three movies I thought were the best. Okay, uh, and it's really kind of hard to rate or see which one is the best because I think they all have their special thing, and I love all three of the original movies. I mean, to me, I think the first one, the second one, and the third one is the best. Scream 4, I really enjoyed Scream 4. Scream 4 was new, different. And uh, they went a, a kind of a different route a little bit with it, which was good. Where uh, they were trying to record the killings and download it on the internet type thing. Whatever they thought their master plan was. And um, that was a clever move to do in the fourth film. And um, But the, I don't know. Something just doesn't match up with me. The two killers in the movie, they're like, I'm taller than them. And Ghostface was a tall person in the film. So, yeah. But it was a good movie. Now, when it comes to the 2022 screen film, well, excuse me, I'm taking a sip of my beer. What can I say? I was... Hyped up about the movie before it came out with all the gossip. All fingers were appointing to Stu Mocker. So when I watched the movie, I was kind of hoping that Stu Mocker would have came back because obviously they kept showing his house, which was a big fucking tease. And when I watched the movie, don't get me wrong. It was a good movie, but I didn't like the idea that they tricked the fans thinking that Stu Mocker would be coming back. If they did that in 2002, I mean, uh, 2022, sorry. And then they gave some serious hints in Scream 6. So, yeah. Scream 6, I thought, was a fabulous film. But uh, I would like to call Scream 5 is uh, the Halloween ends of the Halloween franchise. In other words, the movie sucked. I mean, it was okay, but I was really hoping to see Stu again. And I, I bet a, whole, a bunch of fans like me were hoping the same thing when they first it was announced and shown Stu's, Stu's house and everything so but Scream 6 was uh, actually a fabulous film uh, I've seen that in theaters and it was kind of like the anniversary because it came out on the same day I, you know but 
obviously a different year. And uh, I thought that was a really good film. And um, again, Stu Clues in that film. I hopefully think because of what's your name that got fired, they're going to probably have to rewrite the script or whatever. I don't give a fuck what you guys do. I think you guys teased the hardcore fans long enough. We want Stu back. Somehow, I don't care if he's crippled in the chair with fucking bolts in his neck. Make him come back somehow. I don't know. Do something with him. He needs to come back. You you guys teased us long enough. All right? So, please, you know, take it in consideration of all the billions and billions of the franchise fans that would like to see Stu Marker back. Try to make it happen. If, if he doesn't want to play the role, I can understand him, but... Other than that, I can't complain because I bet you Scream 7 is going to be a kick-ass movie. Because uh, there's really no not a bad Scream movie, to be honest with you, except for the fifth one. So, but other than that, I love the Scream franchise. And just like, um, well, uh, I, I don't know the actor's name, but uh, Randy, the actor that played Randy, like he says... Anybody can be ghost faced. So ghost faced can outlive Freddy Krueger, Jason, Michael Myers, Leatherface, so, you know. So, well, we haven't heard from Freddy Krueger since 2010, which was sad. But other than that, I can't wait for Scream 7 to come out. Oh, look at that. It changed by itself. But I can't wait for Scream 7 to come out. I hope people enjoyed this video. Please tell me what your favorite Scream movie is, why you like it so much, in the comments. Like I said before, if you like my TV 